All right, guys, so I'm at my church. My buddy asked me if I could mow it for him since he's on his honeymoon. So congrats, Greg, on uh, finally uh, tying the knot. Um, hope you're having a great time. So he left his toy for me to use. So I'm gonna show you guys, this is a walk behind. Now the reason it's called walk behind is because you're supposed to walk behind it, but he's actually got the, um, I lost the word. I forget what it's called now. Somebody comment what that's called. Man, my hand won't stop shaking. So uh, basically the, without this, you'd have to walk behind it while you're mowing. And so these types of mowers, um, the reason I like the Cub Cadet so much is the simplicity. And if, when I walk through this, you're gonna see how uh, this is a little bit more complicated than using the zero turn. Um, it's still a great machine, so if, if you can find one used or whatnot, or you got a big property and you need to go big, then uh, they're, they're great machines, you can figure it out. But it just, for the average homeowner, hopping on that Cub Cadet is a lot easier than learning one of these. So let's go through uh, some of the things. Now, here's the standard uh, choke, blade, throttle, you know, switch to turn it on and off. Uh, but then, where you get a little bit confusing is look at all that stuff Woo! it all moves so uh, and then there's this guy here this guy there that guy over there it gets a little bit more complicated so the concept is with a zero turn you push forward you pull back and that makes this side go forward or back same with the other side well this it's kind of the opposite and what I mean is when you start going, you're gonna push this forward for the throttle, but then to turn right, you squeeze this, and it's kind of like when you're in a canoe and you put the paddle down and then you turn that way. But the thing is, with this, if you squeeze all the way, it's actually gonna put that tire into reverse, and so that's how you can turn. And so some people, uh, that's really difficult to, to be able to mentally figure out. Um, and this guy over here is the parking brake. So up is park, down is uh, released. And then this here, this, if you, if you push this forward, you're going, this is so you can, with your foot, pull it back. Now, sometimes you'll be in situations where, you know, you can't use, your, your hands are busy, and so you need to quickly hit that to make it stop. Um, because you can't, it's not like you can't just, I mean, you can squeeze this to stop, but if you're trying to uh, get it to stop completely, you need to actually pull this forward. And if both hands are holding this, you need that foot pedal to be able to stop it. Because until this is pulled back, the throttle is set to go forward. And you're, if you let go of either of these, you'll start to go again. And so um, this is where it gets a little tricky because, um, for instance, if you live near any kind of thorny bushes like rose bushes or blackberries or anything like that if one catches you while you're mowing and this has happened to me and this has happened to a buddy of mine um, your instinct is to reach for it and what happens is you let go of one of those handles while it's going forward it's going to swing because now you're not slowing that end down and you're slowing the other end down and uh, bad things can happen so thankfully um, when that happened to my buddy Chris, um, hey Chris, if you're watching, you know there was a tree there, so it was a, a sudden stop, but nothing dangerous happened. Um, but it just, you know, you can you can get this one can be a little bit more dangerous because uh, it can be harder to mentally remember. Like when you got that thorn, you got to think, okay, I got to squeeze both handles, get this thing to stop, hit the brake, and then you can deal with it. Um, which is not what your brain normally says. Um, and then over here, we've got the blade height. So it's every uh, half inch is a notch, starts at five, four is what it's set at now. Man, I can't stop, stop shaking. Um, and you just twist it to make it go either way. That's pretty easy. Um, the deck itself is pretty similar. Now you will notice the Cub Cadet has the uh, front left tire over there and uh, it gives you a little bit more move maneuverability when you're turning but 
I mean, you could still do it with these guys. You just, you gotta handle a little bit different. Um, let's see, I showed you that. So I think, I think I showed you pretty much everything. I've got the GoPro attached to me, so I'm gonna do some mowing with it and voiceover uh, to show you in detail. Um, but I mean, if you've, if you, you ever are put in charge of mowing, say a church property, you're gonna want either a zero turn or a walk behind. And uh, hopefully this video will help you determine whether a walk behind or the other video with the Cub Kid at the uh, zero turn, which one would be better for you. So let's, oh boy. Oh, my hand won't stop shaking. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, well, now it's stopped, now it's this one. I think the Lyme disease is not gone, which is super annoying, but deal with that later. All right. All right, so you can see I'm taking my time over by the uh, handicap ramp and going around the uh, volleyball net. Now, one thing that's nice about a walk behind is you can duck and go under things. So whether it's a volleyball net or some bushes or whatnot, you do have a little bit more flexibility that way. And you can also stick the front end of it into um, bush areas and such. And can't really do that with a zero turn um, but there are other things you can do with the zero turn that you still can do with a uh, walk behind but it's a little bit more difficult so really depends on the property you're using here I'm squatting again really low underneath some trees um, but it also it's a different feel um, because the view is different standing behind it or sitting basically on top of it uh, you can see here I'm doing some nice maneuvering um, as you start to get better you'll get used to the paddles and then you stop thinking about it so it actually becomes difficult to trying to explain to somebody how to use it because it's just natural um, and you can turn pretty quick on this as well similar to a zero turn but you have to watch out for uh, where your feet will end up and um, you know you can easily when you're going around edge garden beds if that rear wheel on the sulky falls into the groove of the edge you can destroy edges of beds uh, ask me how I know um, <laughs> and so it's it's different and you can also see I keep having to push the middle bar forward to get it to go full speed uh, I'm not sure if that is because his is old and it just slowly uh, moves back from all the vibrations or if they all do that um, I think he had said that it was it was getting worn out so it just starts to move on you uh, something that wouldn't happen on the walk uh, on the zero turn because you're you know pushing both forward anyways um, but another benefit to this bar since it's pushing both forward it's a little bit easier to go straight lines so if you're having trouble with the zero turn going straight uh, you can adjust it um, but I found it's easier to go straight lines in a walk behind than a zero turn so it's all about um, you know how you use it what type of property you have uh, and whether your brain clicks with each one because some people have trouble with 
zero turns. Some people have trouble with walk behinds. Um, I seem to be pretty good at both. And my kids are coming into my office, so I'm going to stop voiceovering and uh, fast forward this. I did forget to mention a couple of the other paddles. So when I was talking about which one you're squeezing, it's this one. This is the, the safety, so one of your hands has to be on one of these at all times. Uh, if the blade's going, if you're driving, obviously. Um, this slows it down, but you see that pops it up. This is kind of like the opposite. If you want to give it a little boost, you can use that one to give it a little boost. So, um, if you're first beginning out, I would just use this and get used to this, and then you can get into this because um, it is handy, but it is a lot more to think about. Another thing is, because you're walking behind it, you have to give good clearance and think about what you're going around. Um, that septic cap over there, when I went around it, you know, it gets really close. If you if you have this, at least your feet are protected. So you're in there, so if you do hit something or whatever, that gets hit, not you. But if you're walking, you could easily trip, especially when you're turning, and if that thing turns and your reaction is to hold on so it doesn't speed away, and you got it turning straight to you with the blades on, it can be dangerous. Uh, another reason why I like the, the zero turn, you're on top, and if you get up, it turns off because it's sensors in the seat. Um, so, it's another thing. It does spray pretty good without any kits or anything but uh so yeah that's i'm not gonna move this camera around everywhere um because it's i gotta do this and my my daughters have a recital so i gotta do this and take a shower and get back so it's a pretty decent sized property even with this equipment um but i'll keep this guy on so you can see and uh we'll go from there <laughs> So I totally ran out of gas. Forgot to bring a gas can, but thankfully had one nearby. Gotta go fill it up. That's embarrassing.
Oh. oh man, no joke. I just fell off it. I slipped my hand, <laughs> ended up on my butt. <laughs> oh, now I'm kind of wishing I was wearing the uh, the chest strap for that. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever fallen off of it. I, um, uh, see, this is why I, I like the zero turn better. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, there you go. Um, so that spill uh, happened over there. I was playing it back in my mind what happened. And I'm not sure if it was where my right hand, some, I think it was my right hand. I, um, something happened and I was like, all right, I gotta slow down. And so I squeezed with only my left hand, which obviously, like I was saying, you're supposed to squeeze with both. Um, and then I felt this wasn't, um, it was, I squeezed a little bit tighter than I normally do, I think. I think that's what it was. And then I felt it twist, and so my instinct was I gotta squeeze harder, 
uh, but my hand wasn't on the, the flap, whatever it's called. My right hand wasn't, so my left hand squeezed really hard, which put, I think, put that wheel in reverse, and I just flung off of it. Thankfully, you know, not hurt too bad. Not, I'll recover from this, but uh, that's why, you know, stuff like this, you want to make sure nobody's around. Um, you'll probably see, you know, partially through somebody with a baby came out of that tent thing, and. Uh, you gotta be aware. Um, I did know they were there before, but I, when I came around, it looked like they weren't in the chair, so that's why I mowed. Otherwise, you know, I, I never would have um, even gone over there with babies or kids. If, you know, I don't mow around them, but, um, but anyways, so you just gotta always be super aware with those machines. Um, the power is, is intense and you can really destroy property kill people all that stuff um, so I do like the the zero turns definitely are just as dangerous um, but what I like is you're on it and like with the walk behind it at least that I was on the sulky and you know it's a lot of times you can catch yourself if you start to go too fast but if you're walking and it goes you have to like run for it um, at least on a zero turn you're sitting and your instinct to pull back will kick in and that's just a lot easier mentally than the whole squeeze thing. Um, but I mean, that was the first time I've ever done that. So I was kind of <laughs> kind of surprised, uh, but I got some whiplash. My neck and my back is killing me. So be going to the chiropractor. Uh, hope you enjoyed, stay safe out there. All right, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.